to it. preserve it and to still have live action here because it is one of a kind. I'm blown away. It's amazing. Woo. Brewers won game from the World Series. We're not going to dwell on that. Spring oh. training is coming up. There's always next year. Woo. So we got that going for you. Bottom line is never been a better time to be a sports fan in Milwaukee. So for the most part, it's going very well. Let's talk about the Eagles for a moment. I believe if there was a Mount Rushmore for musical acts in history, the Eagles would be right there front and center. I don't even think that's a debate. But the thing that makes the band so fascinating to me is that, you know, the style of the members of the band has evolved over time. And it's changed, but the essence of the Eagles has stayed the same. Now, I'm 50 years old, so when Hotel California was released, I was eight, which was kind of putting me on the the early edge of not really listening to records at the time. So it wasn't in my wheelhouse, but of course I knew who the Eagles were and I enjoyed their music. My newfound enthusiasm for all things Eagles came after a visit to Milwaukee about three summers ago for the Bob and Brian Open, and I was staying at Bob Madden's house, and Bob Madden is the biggest Eagles fan ever. He's got all the vinyl now, he's collecting it, records, it's unbelievable. And he said to me, he goes, hey, there's a new Eagles documentary, you want to watch it? Now, of course, I said, no. I'd been out golfing all day, drinking beers, telling fart jokes. You know, golf is very exhausting like that. <laughs> I said, no, I documentary, it's like 11.30 at night, what are you talking about? But I said, okay, put it in, whatever. Next thing I know, it's like 3 a.m., watch the whole thing. I was completely engrossed in it. And to me, the storytelling of how the Eagles form and their musical influences, and, and just the the, the way it takes to birth a song, you know, talking about a single riff that birthed life in the fast lane and the story behind it was unbelievable to me. And then along the way, the tensions, the jealousy, the ego, the fame, the money, the drugs, the pressures, the more drugs, the more women, the, hey, when are you going to put out a new hit record again? It was just fascinating. So luckily for you guys tonight, Don Felder and Glenn Fry are not going to spend the all set talking about how they're going to kick each other's ass as soon as this <laughs> concert is over. And Randy Meisner is not going to say, eh, I don't feel like hitting the high note at the end of taking to the limit. You're just going to be able to sit back and enjoy some of the best, most enduring rock and roll music ever conceived. So you got that going for you tonight. So without further ado, let's give it up for the greatest Eagles tribute band on the planet, Eagle Mania.